Hey guys, this is Post Production Pi with SRLounge.com here with another weekly Lightroom edit. Now, uh, this shot was actually taken out in Laguna Beach. This is of our clients. And uh, we're going to bring up our information just so we can talk through how it was shot. This was shot on a Canon 5D Mark II at 1 200th of a second, f2.8, and an ISO 100. Uh, now, the reason why it's at 200th of a second uh, is because we're using two off camera flashes to basically illuminate this scene. One is placed behind our subjects with a, it's a, got a tungsten gel on it, so it puts off nice yellow light, which matches the sunset. Uh, and that's acting as a rim light from behind. You can see it splashing on the rocks a little bit, a little bit on the backside and on his back. Creating that nice rim light, and it gives a little bit of hair light too. Uh, and then we have another gel, uh, gelled flash that's placed off to the right. That's lighting them from the front. Again, tungsten gelled. So we're balancing all the light so it all looks uh, you know, the same, the same temperature of color or the same color temperature for the light. Uh, when we color correct this, it's going to look really, really nice. Um, we shot this on a 70 to 200 uh, at 70 millimeters just to get a little bit extra compression out of that background. We want to pull the background in closer to the subject, bring that sunset, bring these trees in a little bit closer than they actually are. So let's hit I, and then I'm going to hit F once again to uh, maximize our screen real estate. I'm going to also shrink this top bar. And let's start working through this image. Now, the first thing I see in this image that probably the biggest adjustment that needs to be made, we always start with the biggest first, is uh, the temperature. So I'm just going to cool this down a little bit. We're just going to dial in the correct temperature. I still want it to be a little bit on the warm side, but not quite that warm. So right about 4900 is great. Now what we're going to do is bring a little bit of the recovery up, and I'm going to go to about plus 30. And it's just to balance out a little bit of the highlights on them uh, and pull back a little bit of the sky just a tiny bit. We're going to add a titch of fill light. Um, I'm going to go maybe plus five because I don't want to really flatten out the image too much. I just want to bring a little bit of the shadow detail up before I add my blacks. And from here we're going to add, we'll go plus three blacks. I don't want to go too high because you'll notice if I hit the highlight and uh, and shadow alert on by hitting J, I'm already starting to clip some of my blacks. If I take it up to five, six, seven, you know, we're noticing that we're, we're killing all of our shadows and the hair, which is the most important thing, uh, is it, starting, not the most important thing in the image, but it's an important part, is starting to disappear. We don't want to lose that detail in the hair. So I'm going to pull that back to three. We also know that this is going to print out a, with a little bit more contrast than it shows on screen too. So keep that in mind as well. Now, at this point, I've raised my black to where I want. If I need additional contrast, I'm going to use contrast. Um, I just want to be careful not to go up too high because it will amplify kind of that uh, that highlight and, and color detail on skin and stuff like that, which can make skin look a little funky. So we're going to go up to plus 35. Now we're going to hit our clarity. I'm going to take clarity up to 35. We're going to take vibrance up. Let's go up to about 20 just to make it really nice and poppy. And I'm going to leave saturation where it's at. So we're done with our basics. Now what I'm going to do is I don't really need to make any tone curve adjustments, uh, but what I do want to do is do some detail adjustments as well as um, some kind of graduated filter adjustments that just to kind of pull the attention into our subjects. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to zoom in on the faces, go to 100%, make sure you're at 1 to 1, and then we're going to take our sharpening up. Uh, I'm going to take it up to 70. This is kind of just my default, as a lot of you guys probably know, 71.5, 30. It looks great right there. It's not over sharpened. Uh, it's just about right. And then I don't think we need really any noise reduction. I mean, this was shot at 100 ISO, but it's it's we can look at the shadows and see if there's anything that we want to clean up. And if we want, we can raise it up like 10 just to reduce a little bit of that um, uh, kind of the noise in the in the shadowy area. We'll take it up to actually 20. And uh, what's also nice with noise reduction on these types of shots is that it also serves to kind of smooth the skin out a little bit. Uh, so if we pull this back, you'll notice that more detail shows up on the skin. Whereas if we raise it it has this kind of smoothing effect where it's it's almost like a, a cheating way of just softening up skin. So it looks great right there. I'm going to shrink up the detail panel. Let's check out our lens vignetting. Um, I want this image to be balanced, but at the same time, this is an image that has nice colors on the side that would look good if it had a slight vignette. Again, with our vignettes, we don't ever want to go too high. We don't want it to look like it's been vignetted. I just want it to look a little more dramatic. So a negative 25 and 10, it looks great right there. Not going to do any other lens corrections. From here on out, we're just going to do a couple of graduated filters. Actually, I think we only really need one. Um, so let's do our graduated filter. And what we're going to do is I want to drop the uh, just the, the exposure on this ground right here to really bring the attention into the center of this photograph. 
So let's do that. Let's take our exposure down. We're just going to create, I'm going to do a new brush so we can just start from the beginning. So I'm going to hold Alt, hit Reset. Um, and then let's take the exposure down like to negative one. We'll add a titch of contrast. Uh, and that's good right there. And let's drag it up and just see what we have. Okay. So that's great. We can play with it a little bit from here. Um, if I want to pull a little bit of that contrast out uh, and just kind of adjust the strength of this, uh, this filter. I don't want it to look like it's noticeably, you know, uh, adjusted. I just want it to look as if the flash was almost like a spotlight just on their faces. And that looks great right there. So the last thing I'm going to do is we are going to go back and just visit lens correction again. I do want to pull in a little bit of a stronger vignette just to pull the attention away from the edges just a little bit more. So I'm going to pull it into, let's go to negative 30, and then we're going to bring the midpoint in a little bit more. And that's great right there, guys. So let's check it out. Here is our before, and here is our after. It looks great. And the last thing, I'm this is kind of an optional thing. Uh, I'm going to hit R, and we're going to see what this looks like as a 2 by 10 or a 2 by one crop. So I'm just going to do Enter Custom, and we're just going to hit Aspect Ratio 2 to 1. And uh, I think it'll look really, really nice. We might need to make it a little bit wider just because uh, just because of the feet. So maybe instead of 2 to 1, we can go, let's do another wide aspect ratio, but not quite 2 to 1. Let's do uh, 16 by 9. Okay, and then we have them right on the third line. I'm going to actually pull this in a tiny bit. So they're basically their faces are meeting right on that, that one-third marker. And that looks really nice as well as just a wide angle image. So I'll let you guys kind of pick. Either way, it works fine. If you guys want to show more of this guy or less of this guy, it looks great either way. But hope you guys enjoyed this edit and learned a little bit. And uh, let us know what you think as always. And be sure to post your results.